Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Today, we are checking out a brand new car to Forza Horizon 4, the Honda S800. Today, we're taking it online. That is right, we're going to go do some online adventure in the Honda S800. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Let's go check out a Honda S800. To add the Honda S800 to your garage, you need to complete a seasonal championship called that 70s championship for the spring season in series 31. Now the Honda S800 completely bone stock is no good for online racing. It doesn't even have a one liter engine, 0.8 of a liter, 70 horsepower, 48 foot pounds of torque, weighing 1,565 pounds. So it's fairly light, which goes in our favor when taking it online. It's rear wheel drive and got a four speed gearbox. The only advantage it does have, it revs to 9,000 RPM. Now the Honda S800 starts off in class D193. You're gonna aim for the top of class B and enter into the dirt racing series and see what the Honda S800 can do. Now, of course, to get our little Honda into class B, we're gonna need some upgrades. So let's go ahead and swap in a better engine. Our 0.8 liter just isn't gonna cut it. We can have a two liter inline four VVT, 212 horsepower. We can have an inline four motorbike engine, 196 horsepower, or we can swap in a 1.6 liter inline four turbo rally, 300 horsepower. That is the engine we're going with. Now the little S800 comes rear wheel drive as standard. We're gonna swap in four wheel drive, which takes us sort of middle-ish of class B. I'm gonna be brave. I'm not gonna swap in rally tires. We're gonna go ahead and make them a little bit wider. 205s at the front, and I believe 205s at the rear as well. So now we are the middle of class B. Go ahead and do good old track width, which brings out the fitment quite nicely. It's quite aggressive front and rear, but I like it. Now for a little bit of handling. Let's go ahead and do race brakes. We'll do rally suspension. I'm torn between race and rally because it's still got some good clearance on the race suspension, but I think we'll go rally just to take the lumps and bumps of the dirt racing series. We'll do the anti-roll bars front and rear. Roll cage, I'm not sure if I need one, although it does help with acceleration and launch quite a bit. What is that? Quite funky. Although I'm not gonna fit it. Let's go subtle, let's go for the middle one. And then weight reduction. Do we need to lose any weight? We could lose a little bit. We could lose 125 pounds, bring us down to 1,612 pounds. That's quite light for a car running 300 horsepower, 332 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, I've done some jiggling around with the upgrades. I didn't do weight reduction in the end. I added a bit more power. The final piece of the puzzle, though, is our racing gearbox. So final figures, 347 horsepower, 354 foot-pounds of torque, weighing 1,734 pounds in weight. This should be pretty good for some dirt racing series online racing. Now, I'm not gonna fit any aerodynamics, but we'll just take a look anyway. So for the front bumper, we got a Forza front flap. And for the rear wing, we got a Forza rear flap. Okay, I think we're good to go. 65,550 credits worth of upgrades. Painting options for the S800. We've got nothing in advance, but manufacturer colors, there are three options, red, white, yellow. But for me, there is something about a black Honda that I really, really enjoy. So we're painting it black. Oh, <laughs> we're going black on black. We are stealth, boys. We are completely stealth. Black wheels, black body, black interior. Let's go. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go ahead and search for an adventure. So quick play adventure, custom adventure, dirt racing series. Now I can't change it to class B, so I'm just gonna have to hope the class B dirt racing adventure pops up. After a lot of searching, all I'm getting is S1 in the dirt racing series. So more upgrades are needed. Now, because the game is broken and can't find me an online adventure in class B in the dirt racing series, we are now in S1, which means more upgrades. We're lighter and have more power. So after one quick search, we get an online adventure S1 dirt racing series. Go ahead and pick the Honda S800, 543 horsepower. Let's go. This is it, here we go. Race number one, Glen Ronick. Here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. What are we up against? BMW M4, Aventador, BMW 1M, 
and the Lola T70. The Lola T70 worries me, but we've got quite a small twisty little track, so we should be good. Here we go, start line. Come on, little Honda. Come on, accelerate off the line, let's go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, this is what's gonna worry me, is the tarmac -y bits, because they are gonna be quicker. I'm just gonna take it carefully, make sure I get all my checkpoints. Try and stick with them as much as I can until we hit the dirt part of this course. Don't hit walls. Here we go then. Gravel. Let's go, little Honda. Let's catch that event. So hopefully no one rams me. Dig in. Come on, put the power down. Come on, go, 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 go. Catch that event door. It's not doing terribly. We're in second. We're fighting with this BMW 1M. Oh, I hit that wall. Nope, we're all good, we're all good, we're still moving. Come on, little Honda, come on, little Honda. This guy's itching to get fast, let's let him through. And do the old switch back, he's gonna hit the wall, lovely! We might have second place here. It's not bad in the dirt racing series. I think I could have done with race suspension rather than dirt suspension, or the rally suspension. I think it might have helped it in the corners a bit more, but uh, it's doing all right so far. Got the speed, that's what we need. Speed and lightness, don't hit that wall, Skippy. Down, down, let's go, 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 go. Down the hill, downhill run. Got to keep it on track, keep it in the checkpoints. Hard on the brakes. That guy has completely messed that up. Trying to pump me off track by the looks of it. Absolutely failed. Back onto tarmac, and that's where this thing might struggle slightly. But we're second place. I'll take it. I will take it. Come on, little Honda. Not far to go. 86% of the way through this race. Come on. Couldn't quite catch the Lamborghini. He's finished this race, but we are across the line. Second place for the S800. That's not bad at all. Only six seconds behind an Aventador 2016 in a Honda S800. Right, let's jump into a second race. Greendale Foothills Scramble. Let's go. We might not do too well here. This is mostly tarmac. There's not very much gravel on this track whatsoever. But we're going to do our best to do what we can do in the S800. We're already up into second place, so things aren't going too badly. Stick with this BMW as much as we can. Okay, we're all unghosted. This is where things get a little bit interesting. No, I've caught a wall. No. Right, that's our dirt section. That's it. That's all we've got for the dirt. It's now all tarmac from here. So this might not be the best race to test the S800, but we'll do our best. Coming up to the end of lap one, we are flying down this straight, catching on this guy. Absolutely flying. Come on, S800. Can we get a podium out of this race? Can we get a third? If he drives like that, then yes, we are going to get a podium. Come on, push it, push it, push it. About the same distance he... He's making little mistakes. I need to capitalise on them because he's locked up again. Right on him now. Come on, S800. Speed and power. Go, 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 go. Come on, long straight. Let's go. Let's reel him in for that last lap overtake. Go. Come on, S800. Go, go, go. The guy in fifth very kindly overtook me. We lost the guy in third. Looks like we're coming stone dead last in the S800. Unless we can pull an overtake here, right on the line. Nope, because he blocked me. Damn it. Last place for the S800. I think what we can conclude from that is don't take the Honda S800 online in Class S1 in the Dirt Racing series. I think maybe Class B it would have been fine, but I just couldn't find an adventure after searching for about an hour. But I want to jump back to the upgrades and do one more thing with the S800. When we first did our upgrades, I noticed that we can put on the S800 drift suspension. We're going to take little Honda sideways. I'm also going to go ahead and fit rear wheel drive. And that is all we're going to do. Drift suspension, rear wheel drive, and race tyres. Here we go then. Let's let it rip through the S-Bangs. It's already trying to get sideways without me even trying to drift it. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's chuck her in. Third gear. Give it the beans. Oh, we've lost the back end. Well, let's go again then. Let's give it another rip. Come on, S800. Oh, we nearly did it again. Nearly lost that back end once again. Up to fourth. Give it the beans. Turbo rally engine. Giving it all. Not that bad. It's very controllable. As long as you're easy with the power. 
That's a good score. That is genuinely a good score. 107,000 from the Honda S800. Who knew that the Honda S800 would be better at drifting than it would racing? Now, I know the Honda S800 could be a fantastic little racer. I just wanted to see what it could do in online adventure. Unfortunately, we had to go to S1, which meant we probably had way too much power. But with the right upgrades and the right tuning and probably the right class, this thing would be a fantastic little racer. It's also pretty good at drifting, so I highly recommend you guys give it a go. Let me know in the comments what you did with your Honda S800. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Stay safe and have an awesome day.